Greetings from Barcelona, Spain. It's a joy for me to greet you once again. And I want to express my deepest gratitude to, to your church, my dear brother, Highway Bible Church. It has been a blessing to us for so many years. Brother Caesar wrote me an email asking me to share with you some pictures and maybe even a video of what has been going on for these last months here in, in Catalonia, in Castell Bisbal, in our town. And I tell you, it has been quite busy, but it has been a blessing. I have around six things to share with you. I'm going to start far away from Catalonia. We went to Peru. Actually, I was by myself. I was invited to help out in a Bible seminary that they are starting in the city of Lima in Peru. They invited me because they needed to uh, arrange what it was the curriculum and all the materials for the Bible Institute. It was a joy for me to be there in Lima and also give a conference about the apostasy in our days. The Lord really blessed that time there in Lima. I was together with a group of students from Pensacola Christian College, Dr. Albert, Dr. Watt, and Dr. Greg. All of us work with that one, that project, and uh, I was so thankful for the opportunity that the Lord gave me to go there. But that was just the beginning of summer. After we returned, camps was almost ready. We had once again the joy and the opportunity to serve the Lord with children camps. We had a good group this year, and uh, the most important thing is that at least three of these little children accepted the Lord as personal Savior. And that is the joy, that's the purpose of what we do, that they may know Him, and that they may have a true relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We had an excellent team of workers, we had an excellent team of directors, and uh, for Rosa and for me, it was our privilege to be there, helping out and, and, and teaching them also how to lead camps. We came back, and just after a week of, uh, not really rest, but a week of preparation, we received a group of 13 students from Pensacola Christian College. Uh, they came with a purpose of serving here for a couple of weeks. They were teaching English in the mornings, and then in the evenings we had a vacation Bible school. I was really thrilled to see these uh, young men and young ladies willing to serve the Lord, willing to even pay for their trip to come here. And, and I was praying that they will have the understanding and the vision of the needs of our mission field here in, in Catalonia, in Spain. It was a blessing to see how the Lord opened doors that we will never imagine. We were able to go and teach in a public gym here. It's kind of a karate gym, a martial art gym, but they were doing activities with children and they asked us if we could go there and teach them English. And then also we have an opportunity every day to teach a Bible story. So it was really an open door. The team left, but during two months and a half, I think, we received a precious help from two ladies. One of them, Elizabeth Rathford, and the other, Maria Jose. Elizabeth from the States and Maria Jose from Mexico. They also came to help us here in the ministry. And just before the camp, Kelly Goforth, a precious young lady, came also to help us. And uh, it was such a blessing to have these three girls uh, giving us all what they have, all their heart, all the, their hopes, me, I'm sorry, my English, all their desire to, to serve the Lord, and it was a special blessing for me. So all of those activities were going by, and our heart was still with a great burden for the need of Spain and Catalonia. I remember years ago I read about uh, Livingstone. He said that he saw the bonfires in 1,000 villages, and all of those bonfires were showing a place where there was not a church, the gospel had not reached them there yet. I thought about that and I saw the map of Catalonia and I realized how more than 1,000 towns still don't have any Bible believing church, any testimony. Most missionaries don't go to those towns because, you know, maybe a few people there. So uh, it is very difficult to have a big ministry. 
so they prefer to go to big cities. But somebody have to go there and tell the people there about the Lord Jesus Christ. With that burning and car, I started a, a project that it was in my heart years ago called 1000 Towns. The idea is to visit those towns and contact people, maybe give tracks, in the mailboxes in the streets, talk to people, and began, began to really have a ministry there in those towns. And that's, that's a prayer request that I have for you. That the Lord will use us as we see the harbor. Uh, that the Lord will use us as we see the need of those towns. There are many, many things that we look forward to have this year. October will come back and we will begin our Bible Institute. We have also the desire of going back to Israel as we were there uh, this year serving and uh, teaching the gospel. And uh, we need your help. Oh yeah, your prayers, your prayers. That the Lord will allow us and help us and use us for His glory. We really appreciate what you that. We really appreciate what you do for us. You are part of our team, like Paul and his co-workers. You are there praying for us. Every month we receive a love offering from you, and it's, it's such an encouragement. Your love and your encouragement is what help us to go on serving the Lord. And as I greet you, Highway Bible Church, I also want to express my gratitude to so many other churches and and people that want to, to help us in this privilege, in this joy of serving our God. So thank you very much for watching this video, these pictures, and I hope you will continue in touch with us, maybe through our Facebook, maybe through Instagram, maybe through prayer letters, and I'm sure you will be praying for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And may God Bless you.